The next muscle that we're going to be showing you a video for here is going to be infraspinatus. So the first thing I'm going to do is border infraspinatus's origins. So the first thing that I'm going to find is the inferior angle, and I'm just using the web space in my hand and kind of pinching on both sides. So this is the medial border and that is the lateral border of the scapula. So that is marks two of the landmarks. And the last one that kind of defines the infraspinous fossa is going to be the spine of the scapula. So as I've landmarked the spine of the scapula right here, everything inferior to that, medial border and lateral border, so inside that triangular space, is known as the infraspinous fossa of the scapula, which is the origin of infraspinatus. The muscle is going to run obliquely and some fibers superiorly here, and then some of them more just transverse like so, as they all come to more of a point and insert on the humerus. So one of the things I'm going to ask my person to do, we're going to take his arm, just hang it off the edge of the table. Let's orient ourselves a little bit because the scapula has moved a little bit here. Spine of the scapula, medial border, lateral border. And I'm going to ask him to do the primary action of this muscle, which is lateral rotation. So he's going to lift his arm up like so. Good. I'm going to go back, pop it in the middle of that fossa, ask him to do that again. Excellent. And you can easily start feeling infraspinous muscle fibers. Good. I'm going to follow laterally along the spine until I find that angle right here. So this is the angle of the acromion. And I'm going to drop just inferior to it and strum superior inferior. And this is where you're going to start to feel infraspinous musculo tendinous junction. So it often gets very ropey and possibly a little bit tender in this location here. I'm going to bring his arm back up onto the table, this next point. As we sink in, and then once we get past kind of that acromial angle, we're getting onto the humerus. So infraspinatus is inserting here, which is on the middle facet of the greater tubercle of the humerus. I'm going to ask him again just to do a little bit of that external rotation. Good. Now I'm back down, and you can feel it tightening up. It will be underneath the deltoid muscle, so you will have to sink through a little bit of extra tissue to get to that insertion point. 